In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a Facebook Pixel onto your WordPress or WooCommerce website. A Facebook Pixel is a very good thing to have installed if you're thinking of running some Facebook ads because it allows you to track exactly what's going on with that traffic. You know, how many pages people view, whether they buy anything, all sorts of information that allows you then to calculate whether your Facebook ads are actually working. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So in this very quick video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a Facebook tracking pixel onto your WordPress or WooCommerce website. Now this should work with pretty much any WordPress site, it doesn't matter if you're running WooCommerce or not. Um, we're going to be using a plugin to make it really easy. It's just a case of installing the plugin and then adding your Facebook uh, ID thing, whatever it is, pixel ID, and a couple of other settings, and we're all done. The good thing about this plugin is that it plays nicely with WooCommerce, so that if you are running a WooCommerce site and you're selling products, you'll be able to get that information back into your Facebook account. So I'm talking, you know, the actual money value, so you can see, um, you know, that you spent ten dollars or ten pounds on an ad, and then that ad generated, you know, a hundred or a thousand pounds in sales. Hopefully, all going well. So yeah, you get a lot of data with this Facebook Pixel, and the plugin does all of the heavy lifting for you. And you're going to get some great data back into your Facebook advertising account, and you're going to be able to make some really informed decisions when it comes to your Facebook ads. So I think that's enough chit chat from me and you looking at my face. Let's get on the computer. Let's get it set up. So this is the site I'm going to be adding the Pixel 2 today. It is a WooCommerce site. It's a traditional WooCommerce site. Uh, it's not an affiliate site or anything like that. It sells real products and takes credit cards, all that kind of stuff. It's a real WooCommerce site. So we're going to be adding the Pixel so that we can track visits and sales and all that kind of stuff. By the way, if you're interested in making a site like this, as I said, it's WooCommerce, it's running Xtheme, then do check out uh, my tutorial where you can see exactly how I built this very site. I'll put a card up on the screen now. Um, do check it out. It's quite a long video, um, but yeah, I show you exactly how I made this site, uh, everything I did step by step, all that kind of thing. So yeah, check it out. But anyway, let's get on with adding this pixel. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna install a plugin. So let's go to the dashboard. I'm already logged in, as you can see. Go to plugins, add new. And then in the search box, I'm just gonna type in Facebook Pixel. The one I wanna go for is this one, the Facebook Pixel by Pixel Your Site. Uh, so let's click install. Now the reason I like this one is it's really easy to set up. It does the WooCommerce stuff for you um, in terms of you know tracking sales, all that kind of thing. So it's very easy to use. There is a pro version available that adds even more uh, stuff and features. Um, but today we should just be able to get away with the free version. So that's installed, I'm just activating it now. And we're active. So let's go into the settings and you can find them down here under pixel your site. Okay, um, here's some stuff about the pro version if you're interested. So what we're gonna do is add our Facebook pixel ID. So to get that, let's head over to Facebook. I'm over here, I'm already in the adverts manager. Um, yours should probably look a bit like this. So come up here, click on the little burger menu, and then under measure and report, you'll find pixels. And then let's click create a pixel. Let's give it a name. I'm gonna call it, oh, can I not? Oh, you can't change the name. Oh well, let's call it that, that's fine. Strange. I've created it. Uh, okay. What's that line doing? Ooh. Okay. Let's 
So it's saying um, to install you need to whatever, manually add it yourself or use an integration or tag manager. Let's click manually add the code myself. And let's just click continue. So on this page it's asking us to set up some events. So I'm just gonna leave this for now because I think the plugin should do it all for us, hopefully. Um, it does usually, so that's fine. The last thing is to verify using the Pixel Helper, which is a Google Chrome extension. I do recommend that you install it to do that click here. I've already got it installed because um, then you'd better check if it's all working properly. So yeah, do that. Um, I've already done it. Click that uh, and install it. You will need Google Chrome for that to work. So let's click done. So um, here's our Pixel ID up here. So we can just copy that, that's easy. I'm just gonna highlight that, copy it to my clipboard. Then I'm gonna go back to the plugin and I'm gonna paste it in. So, and here we got our event. So, blah, blah, blah. enable general event setup. Yep, track tags, that's a pro thing. All right, you can track your um, search as well. So let's click tick to activate and let's click save settings. So I think that's done. Uh, we'll double check it in a second. Let's just go into WooCommerce setup. So this obviously only applies if you're running WooCommerce. Um, well, let's tick that to enable dynamic product ads. So that's useful if you wanna do some retargeting that stuff, you can target people that have viewed products or added to cart, that kind of thing, very useful. Um, and these are all added anyway. So enable add to cart and all that stuff. Enable initiate checkout, enable value. So it's gonna add the uh, the money numbers. So you know you can see how much people have spent from your ads, which is really handy. So you can do a good ROI calculation. You know, you spend $10, you get $200 in sales, you know it's working. So these are all fine, they're all turned on. We don't really need to mess with any of this stuff. All that's pro, that's all good, save settings. So I think we're all done. So let's head over to the front of the site and just take a look. And as I say, I've got the Facebook Pixel Helper installed. It's this little thing up here, which has gone blue. And it says one pixel found on Bake It Free Form, uh, page view, general event, microdata. That's all good, it's all tracking. So if I were to, for example, add something to the cart like this, um, spicy courgette muffin kit. And in fact, let's just see what the pixel's doing now. Uh, it's giving me a warning about the product catalog. That's fine. In order to get that working, you would need to submit a product catalog to Facebook. That will be in another video coming soon. That's something else all together. So I'm just gonna add to basket, see if we get an event now. Yep, yeah, it's given us an add to cart event, but again, it's it's having an issue with um, the, the product catalog. But I said, that's not important, it's all gonna work fine anyway, that's just a warning, nothing to worry about right now. Um, but yeah, if you're gonna do some advanced remarketing, that kind of stuff, then it is a good idea to submit a product catalog, which I will do in a future video. But anyway, it's track the add to cart, and then if I was to check out, I'm guessing, as it all looks like it's working fine, it will, it will track all the, the money and all that kind of stuff. So it's all working, job's done, and uh, I hope yours works too. So that's the end of this video. I hope you've got your Facebook pixel all installed and up and running and you're gonna be getting some data now coming into your Facebook advertising account and you can see exactly whether that money you're spending and giving to Mark Zuckerberg is actually giving you anything in return. I'm sure it is, well, I hope it is. If you've got any comments or questions about this or, or anything else really, then please leave them below. I do love to hear from you guys. If you're not already a subscriber, then please click on the little eagle there and you can join the WordPress Eagle family. And if you click the little bell, you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. And here is another video from the past, from the channel that's been chosen specially for you. Until next time, bye for now.